there was this girl that came out within 10 minutes. I had to say, wait, 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 until the father was also uh, next to me that we can receive her together. And she was an amazing, beautiful girl and didn't scream. And the doctor had to clap her extra to that she would scream. And then the next days and weeks that um, when I could see that this baby girl has a huge aura. Today we say aura. At that time I didn't know that there is an aura and there is a light around us in different colors. But she had an extraordinary um, radiance and people would very attracted to her. May this be in a shopping center or a parking, people would come to see her and she had this amazing smile and big eyes that she immediately connect to the people's heart. Joy was a very active baby and she slept very little and as soon as she started to be more independent of being able to move, she was a very curious and fearless child. She could go up everywhere and she would stand up and say, Mama, here I am. And she would just present herself to the world wherever she had the possibilities and very outgoing. In the same time, I could also see that she is very observative. She would look at the people for a long time, observe them and then come up to me and give me some information about these people. So she's growing up two years old, three years old, and more and more she is speaking about how she's playing with um, maybe fairies or other uh, creatures that are invisible to me. And she would say, Mama, I'm not the only one that can see those fairies or uh, devas or angels. And there was the first book coming out in the market in America that was called The Indigo Children. And I was um, reading this book and I felt interesting. This message that uh, they are want to give to the world is similar to my message, to my experiences. And I studied a long time why they would come out with indigo, why they would label these children now indigo, as indigo is a color, is a blue color that is mixed with some black that we have then the indigo color. And in the same time, at that time, that's maybe now 10 years, more than 10 years ago, that there was also an expression in the same time that the people talked about the blue ray babies. And Nancy Thompson that was talking about these children that have mainly a blue radiance around them, like the aura has more a blue to them. She also, she mentioned blue and later it became to this indigo. But I want to also say in the beginning, many, many people talked about the blue ray babies. Now today, they talk about crystal children, they talk about star children, they talk about the rainbow children, and the longer um, the period goes, the more names are coming into the market. Once I observed that, for me, it was very clear, I am not the one that will label these children. The first book was published 2001 with the name Öffne dein Herz. Kinder des Lichts, open your heart for the children of light. And the second revised version was published 2007 with the book Kinder des Lichts, Erkennen, Lieben und Begleiten. Children of Light, recognize them, love them and support them. And 2004, there was the English version published with the name Open Your Heart, Kinder des Lichts. And the books have been very well received in the market 
as the stories that I have been collecting in the books have been from many families. So the book is not only ex an experience of me and my daughter and my um, friends. And by that, families could relate to what is happening in their families. And so I got many emails, many phone calls of saying thank you. She was about two years in Switzerland in school when I then traveled with her to Asia and she finds that Asia, specific Thailand, is her real home. She had an experience going in a temple and there she said to me, Mama, this is my home, this is where I belong, this is what I was searching for. At that time she was nine year old and after she also asked me, Mama, how to meditate and can I meditate here? We stayed longer in this um, temple to learn to meditate and I had a great experience of expanding my meditation and had deep experiences. After a certain weeks, it was time to go home and she told me she would like to stay. She was nine years old and she had all the confidence to say, Mama, it's okay, I stay, you can go and you can come back whenever you have money to come back and visit me. After two years, she asked me again, Mama, when is it time? When do you let me go? And at that time, I decided to let her go. Why should I not let her go if she feel the confidence to go? We set up some rules, some regulation, and I had the chance to meet a great host family, a Thai family that would offer joy, scholarship and to stay in her family. And yes, with 12 year, year she went with a ticket to Thailand and of course I was there with her in the beginning. Today now Joy is 16, almost 17. She is now in a boarding school, in international boarding school with um, 40 to 50 girls and boys and this school is part of a day school with over 1,000 children from Bangkok surroundings. Open your heart is a key message for myself and for the world itself. If everybody has more flexibility, if everybody can open their heart instead of withdraw open once more, once again, we can connect to each other. And I believe all what we need is connecting to each other again, heart by heart, one by one, and having the flexibility and the love for the beauty of each other. And the world will become a better place in itself.